Well, it's a Monday, which means pattern predictions. A look at the next two weeks of weather, which takes us through the first full weekend of August. Now, you can find our 14-day forecast right on our app. If you haven't downloaded it yet, give it a try. It is free on the App Store and Google Play, but this video will help you kind of break down the 14-day forecast when you're looking at the app, what may change in the coming days and weeks. So we start with a height to 500 millibars. In the atmosphere, a layer of it and how warm or cool it is, the warmer colors representing that warmer layer of the atmosphere. And you see this big ridge that's been building over much of the United States, heat the big story this week, that will come into New England by the time we get to Thursday, peaking Friday. What's interesting as we zoom things out is that you do have an upper level low near Alaska. And if you remember last pattern predictions, that was the case, but it was displaced a little farther south. And that does have implications in the forecast. That will also slide east and will promote a ridge coming into the central United States, almost a retrograde of that high going and building in from east to west, particularly towards the end of the forecast period. So for the first weekend of August. Until then, it really is going to be all about the heat across much of the central and southern United States. And we'll have temperatures that will be near normal, except towards the end of the period when we get this dip in the jet stream that will come over the northeastern United States, perhaps so far south that storms will also be steered to our south as well. But we'll get into some relatively cooler air towards the end of the period. One other thing you'll notice, too, is there's a big upper level low off the west coast that promotes the ridge and another trough. And that's kind of what we call an omega block, not kind of classic, but you see that shape of an omega in the atmosphere that does start to develop here. Now, what does that mean in terms of our precipitation chances? Well, it's elevated towards the end of the week and the start of the weekend, 30 to 50% chance. We talked about that in Insights, the fact that Friday features some thunderstorms with the heat and humidity building in and a cold front. That front may stall over us, particularly to start the weekend and keep a threat for some storms around. But we'll watch the placement of that front very carefully. After that, maybe Tuesday we get some storms. And then it's kind of steady much of next week and next week. And it actually drops as high pressure is likely to build in. So it's not really a stretch that's going to feature much wet weather. Although there will be some storms around, particularly Friday into Saturday and potentially for a day or two next week. But most of the action is across the central and northern plains into the Midwest, kind of riding that boundary of real deep summer heat along with down across the Gulf Coast, where we actually have some moisture coming in off the Gulf and stretching into the southeastern United States. So we will likely be at or below average in terms of precipitation amounts over the two week period. Surface weather forecasts, I mean, Look at this map, a lot of oranges and reds here. So a lot of deep summer heat, heat index values going over 100, the middle and end of this week into the upcoming weekend. The West Coast gets briefly cooler. And then notice towards the end of the period, a lot of warmth that builds in, but notice the cool spot from Eastern Canada down into New England. Of course, cool is all relative, right? With average temperatures that are still running in the 80s, we will be slightly below average towards the end of the period. So the heat builds in, highs climbing well into the 90s, peaking on Friday. We cool it back slightly for the upcoming weekend. Humidity sticks around. Highs likely still in the mid to upper 80s to start next week. And then we see some relatively cooler air come into the picture the end of next week and that first weekend of August with temperatures will be around 80, but keep in mind with an onshore breeze would likely mean temperatures in the 70s at the coastline. Same goes for the overnight lows, right? Warm, sticky, uncomfortable as that heat builds in and then near average for overnight lows running in the 60s for the weekend for the start of next week and then some cooler air comes back into the picture. I wouldn't be surprised if we get some 50s and maybe even some 40s again in northern New England. So when you look at that 14 day forecast in your app, just keep in mind, those numbers may actually be a little bit uh, warmer than anticipated. And we'll watch how that fluctuates in the coming days. But don't be surprised if you see those numbers tick back just a little bit, particularly if you live right at the coastline. If you like what you see, you can help support the One Degree Outside mission, exclusive content, the podcast, maps, discussions, you name it. All the information on our four membership tiers is at membership.onedegreeoutside.com. Have a great evening, everybody. We'll see you with more weather tomorrow morning.